welcome back. We spent most of the daylight hours mainly dry, and temperature is really not that bad for this time of year. Most of us made it to the mid 50s with partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. You can see here on our tower cam time lapse. This is our regional west weather camera in Scotts Bluff, making our way into the evening. Mostly cloudy skies, and there are some rain and snow showers across a very small portion of our viewing area. Here's a look at our high temperatures today. So we made it to 55 at Scotts Bluff, also mid 50s at Kimball, 52 at Torrington, and upper 50s at Shadron Alliance and at Sydney. Now we do have clouds across the region. They are thick in most places, so temperatures not really dropping as much as the past couple of days. In fact, we're pretty mild into the evening with a 40 right now at Scotts Bluff and Shadron, uh, mid. 30s at Hemingford and Alliance, lower 30s at Kimball, but a 37 at Bridgeport and at Sydney. The winds have flipped around to more of a northerly direction, maybe a little bit of a westerly component in there too. That's important because that westerly component dries us out. The northerly component is pumping in cool air. We're definitely going to feel the effects of that tomorrow. And it's a little breezy out there with the winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. As for the satellite loop, we have mostly cloudy skies across all of the viewing area right now. And keep your eyes on this uh, area of light snow, mainly from just off to the west of Scotts Bluff, the west of Harrisburg. Over the past couple of hours, it has dissipated, but could still have some snow showers out toward Torrington and just along the state line uh, in some areas. Now, across the country, we do have... Uh, this high pressure system exiting and we're we were in the warm sector earlier today with the southerly wind but this cold front made its way through now the winds mainly from a northerly direction now these low pressure systems are pretty weak not a lot of moisture with it because most of the moisture is being deposited over portions of eastern Oklahoma and eastern Texas off here off the uh, the Gulf of Mexico high pressure is in charge of our forecast that is going to be our next weather maker it will crest over us as we go through the day on Friday we're going to lose these clouds by tomorrow afternoon but we do have that strong northerly wind so temperatures are going to be down for the day tomorrow but right back up there as the high moves off to the east strengthens gives us a lot of sunshine and that southerly wind as we go through the Friday and Saturday time frame with temperatures warming up. So here's a recap of what to expect as we make our way through the evening and overnight. Any of the snow showers will be ending. Mostly cloudy skies, temperatures uh, falling back to only near 30 for lows. And then for the day tomorrow, mainly sunny skies. Mid to upper 40s is all we're going to do. We're starting off your Friday morning near 20 degrees. Lots of sunshine, a little more of a westerly wind. That's a nice mild flow. It's dry too. Lots of sunshine. By Friday afternoon, we're back to near 60 in most areas. So we got the cool air over us for the day tomorrow. Dip in the jet stream means that rains off to our south. An area of snow in uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Another one west of Denver. And an area of mixed precipitation along the Texas and New Mexico border, but our next weather maker is going to be this ridge in the jet stream, dry and mild air. As soon as we get past these clouds and the uh, cool down for the day tomorrow with a high of only 47, we're back up to 58 for your Friday with sunny skies, partly cloudy Saturday, 53, lower 50 Sunday, lots of sunshine. Chances for some snow showers Monday night through the day on Tuesday as temperatures really fall from near 50 all the way back into the upper 20s for next Tuesday. Travis? Thanks, Justin. Open enrollment for Medicare and Medicaid is underway. And as you're making health care choices, experts say con artists are targeting your critical personal information. And this watching your wallet consumer investigator Karis Jackman explains how to spot the scammers posing as government agents and stop.